Okay, everyone, we learned yesterday that we cannot all get on as one class because we're having problems with our bandwidth. Greater Clark is aware of that and they are working on resolving that problem. However, they won't be done quickly. So it's not gonna happen this week. So what we'll do is I will video what you would have seen in a live um, Google Meet. You can watch it on your own and then do the work. And then if you need help, you can just jump right on the Google Meet and get help as needed. If you feel like you need help all the way through it, you can stay on the Google Meet and I'll go through it with you. Um, but you can come and go on that Google Meet as you need to today, okay? So what I have today, remember that you are going to go to your homeroom under November 2nd, 4th or 6th e-learning. And it's going to say Math Thursday, word problems, two digits times one digits word problems. And then you are going to open your slideshow. And each of you will have your very own slideshow. So here's what we've got. There are 12 word problems for you to solve. And each of those word problems has a letter connected to it. Down on slide number eight, there's a riddle. What insect can taste food by standing on top of it? Well, my first thought is a fly, but there's way too many letters for a fly. So I'm curious to see what it is. So here's what we'll do. You'll start off on slide number two. You'll solve your problem. And when you find your answer, then you will click this slide number eight. Slide number eight is where your riddle is. So you'll click slide eight. And it's hard to see because the screen Maybe I can hide it. Slide eight, you'll get a pop-up that says slide eight. All you do is click on that and boom, you're at slide eight. You'll look for your answer. And then if your answer is there, you'll put the letter in the box above it. Okay. Now pay close attention. It says you may not use all the letters. So if you can't find your answer, maybe it's one you won't use. There's a typo. I've got to fix that. So I can go back to slide two by clicking on slide two or three or whatever one you need to go to. So let's do one of these together, okay? So if I'm taking a look, there are 89 lollipops in a bag. How many lollipops in seven bags? When we first started doing multiplication word problems and you probably started doing them in second grade, you would draw seven bags and you would draw how many lollipops in each bag and count them up. Well, there is no way that I am drawing 89 lollipops seven times. That's just way too much. So I know that I can multiply. There, whoops, you can't see that. Let me change the email. color. There are 89 lollipops in one bag, but I've got seven bags. That means I have 89 seven times. So I can do 89 times seven. Nine times seven is 63. Add my six. Nine times or seven times eight is fifty-six plus six is sixty-two. So I know now that my answer is six hundred twenty-three. So I'm gonna go to slide eight, and if there's a six twenty-three there, I'm gonna put an N. Okay, I'm gonna have to come to my computer. So I'm gonna click slide eight, go to slide eight. And I am looking for 623, and I do not see 623 anywhere. So I'm just going to kind of keep this in my head that I might need it. Maybe I solved it wrong. I'm going to tell you right now, though, I didn't. I already checked myself. But you may want to go back and check yourselves. So now I'm going to go back to slide two, and I am going to solve the other problem. Nora put eight M&Ms in each cookie she was making. If she made 41 cookies, how many M&Ms did she use? Well, I know that I'm going to put that larger number on top, 41 cookies. That's a lot of cookies. And on each of those cookies, there were eight chocolate chips. So that was eight, 41 times. So I'm going to go 41 times eight. Now, if you're still struggling to do the algorithm, then you can draw your area models. That'd be totally fine. So eight times one is eight, eight times four is 32. So I know that my answer is 328. Now I'm gonna go look to see if there's an F. So once again, I'm gonna go to slide eight and I am going to take a look and I am looking for 328 and look, right here it is. 
So I'm going to put an F in the box. Okay. Now I've already done both of them on slide two, so I'm going to go back to slide three. And you're just going to keep doing this until you've solved all 12 problems. Okay. So if you have, sorry, there's a bug. <laughs> if you have any questions, jump on the meet with me, email me. Um, you know that I will always help you. Okay. So I hope this is easy for you and maybe I'll see you in the meet and maybe I won't see you in the meet. Take care.